Mm, Super Bowl's coming. One I know. week away. It, literally one week away. And we actually kind of have a weather pattern that you're tracking during the week. So Yeah, I mean yeah. right now we've been seeing storms every three or four days, but I'll tell you what, the the northern mountains yeah. at least from the last two days have gotten a lot a of lot snow. snow. Look I was at these say. reports. <laughs> Tau Ski Valley approaching three feet of fresh snow from this storm. Red River, 29 inches. Sipapu, 27 inches. Ski Santa Fe, around 27 uh, inches. Even Chama saw around a foot of snow from this storm. And again, that all fell in the last two days. But this is totally not the end of winter. And we still have another storm on the way this week alone. But looking at the Sandia Peak camera, I'll tell you what, today was a beautiful day out there. Still a little breezy for places here in the metro. We've had gusts around 25 miles per hour. If you're going to be out in any time the rest of the evening, the temperatures will continue to fall into the low 40s through about 8 to 9 p.m. But the good, good news is those winds will continue to back off. We still could see an isolated gust up to about 20 miles per hour for the rest of the evening. The rest of tonight still going to be cold. The majority of us are going to be below freezing tonight, so a little colder than what we saw for this morning morning by the time you wake up tomorrow. So 24 for Santa Fe Monday morning, 19 for Las Vegas, 30 in Roswell, 33 in Las Cruces and Silver City. Farmington, you'll be around 24, 17 for Gallup. We'll be into the upper 20s even here in Albuquerque. But as we get toward tomorrow, high clouds will begin to move in to the western side of the state as we get toward the afternoon and evening time. Here's your Monday planner for Albuquerque. Honestly, not a too bad of a day. Still 31 degrees when you wake up in the morning or even before that into the upper 20s for some spots in the valley location. So keep that in mind. But we will be warmer by the time we get toward tomorrow afternoon by a couple degrees, 56 by 4 p.m. As we get toward Tuesday, we're going to be watching another system, like I said, begin to move in mainly into the evening and night times Tuesdays when we begin to see rain and snow move in across the western part of the state. Even into our Wednesday, we'll continue to see light rain in the metro area and valley locations. Again, snow really going to be for upper elevations, mountain locations. So the Sand, uh, Sandia, Manzano Mountains, San Cristo Mountains, Jemez Mountains, and even for the Sacramento Mountains and the Gila, we'll get to get to see some pretty good snowfall from this storm. Now, as we get toward Wednesday night into our Thursday morning, I think temperatures will cool enough for snow to drop to valley floors. Now, unfortunately, I think here in Albuquerque, those chances will be very slim to see any snow due to the fact that moisture will be pretty starved once we get toward Thursday morning. Maybe a little bit more moisture tries to reinforce in here as we get toward Thursday evening. So a few snow showers possible then. But now models are picking up. Next weekend, we begin to see another storm. This one will be another cold one. Winds won't be as breezy with this one either, so I think moisture will be sufficient enough. We might get some snow here in Albuquerque. We're going to watch that pretty closely for you. At least the extended outlook says uh, pretty good chances of above average precipitation for the next week or two going into the middle of February. Southeast tomorrow, temperatures in the 50s and 60s with mostly sunny skies, but that turns to mostly cloudy skies by Tuesday. And I wish I could give you better chances of rain with this system, Roswell, but the best we can do is 10%. Wind is going to be the big deal for you Wednesday and Thursday. Southwest tomorrow, highs in the 50s and 60s with mostly sunny skies until the afternoon where we could have some high clouds kind of take over. It's the same for the northwest and the four corners, so sunny first half of the day and then clouds move in toward the afternoon and evening, a high of 54 in Farmington. 30% chance of rain showers Tuesday evening turning to a 90% chance by Wednesday with a high of 49. North Mountains tomorrow, highs in the 40s and 50s, but a cold start. Look at that, Angel Fire. One below zero by tomorrow morning. 51 for Santa Fe after you start your day at 24 Monday morning. But Tuesday, clouds increase. Then we have that rain snow mix begin Wednesday, especially into Wednesday night. The winds will be, again, a big deal with this storm middle of the week. Northeast tomorrow, 50s and 60s out there. 54 right on for a high. The East Mountains will see temperatures Somewhere around the mid 50s for a majority of us, 54 in Edgewood. And looking at the metro, we still should have a mostly sunny day. It's until the afternoon and evening hours before the high clouds begin to move in. But still, pretty nice. 55 for Rio Rancho for your Monday to start the week. And then we cloud back up by Tuesday with rain showers really moving in by Wednesday. It's an 80% chance of rain midweek. It's the same for Albuquerque, but by Tuesday, we could be approaching 60s for highs.